finally back. <laughs> I missed you. Honey, I'm home. I'm home. Oh, hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. A little bit of a different video today. As many of you know, movie theaters have started to open up and here where I'm at in Texas, they've opened up just as of yesterday. I've been dying to go back because it's been several months since I've gotten to go to a theater. So I had to videotape my experience of going back and what movie theaters look like post the pandemic with social distancing rules in place. I'm gonna be breaking down everything that's different, which is a lot more stuff than I was expecting, but just so some of you can live vicariously through me because I know some of you have not had your movie theaters open up yet and it's gonna be a while for y'all. Also disclaimer before I show the footage, I'm no Casey Neistat, I'm no David Dobrik. I was just focusing on getting shots of stuff that looks different, not trying to be a Steven Spielberg when vlogging here, so my bad. So before even making my trip to the movie theater, one thing for sure is I had to get my tickets in place. The first theater that has opened up in my area is a Cinemark, so I got onto their app. And I highly encourage you guys, even if it's not a Cinemark, take a look at the movie theaters around you because a lot of them will be playing older movies, movies that were showing before the pandemic hit, like your Sonic or The Invisible Man. But my theater over here is showing some classics like Mean Girls, Space Jam, even Austin Powers. A lot of great ones to choose from. But for me specifically, my girlfriend had never seen Mad Max and that's a perfect movie to see on the big screen so we decided to check that out and here's one of the biggest differences you'll notice post pandemic is the ticket buying experience now whenever you buy a seat you automatically cancel out anyone else from purchasing the two seats next to you I know a lot of people wondered how movie theaters were gonna do this where they were just gonna sell every other seat well no it all depends on the size of your party so just for my situation I'm two people but if I was a party of four or a party of six I have the option to do that while still limiting the other percentage of people who get thrown into the audience So this might motivate some of y'all to get your tickets quickly for when those bigger movies start coming and social distancing rules are still in place Because now when you're buying one ticket, you are technically taking up five seats So that was said and done and it was time for us to head to the theater Obviously one of the things you'll see right away is all the signs saying how clean theaters are now how they're taking precautions Just like mine's right here saying cleanliness now showing everywhere. Oh, very clever Cinemark. One thing I was surprised by is that they still had these touchpad kiosks. They weren't really having people at the box office, like physical employees who would be handing you your tickets and buying from. It's all electronic now. They still did have someone ripping tickets at the front, which is an always expected experience when you're going to the theater. They do have that glass in front of them, although I think when we went to it, we didn't use it correctly. We're probably supposed to stand in front of that glass when we just stepped to the side, so... Not sure how much good that glass is doing. And one of the things people might not be expecting that they have been noticing maybe in, in other places of business is that movie theaters, or at least most of them in the nation, are no longer accepting cash when you go to it. So if you're planning to go back to the movie theater, Post the pandemic, be ready to pay with some sort of debit card, credit card, because they will not be accepting cash for their purchases. Cash is one of the many ways to spread the virus. It's filthy, everyone touches it. That was something I really didn't even think about, but it makes sense. Of course, you have the placemats on the floor that say six feet apart. I didn't have my ruler with me. I left that in my bathroom when uh, I was measuring something else. A big thing that might make some people mad, especially loyalty members to movie theaters who provide programs where they sell you a tub at the beginning of the year. AMC does this, Cinemark does this, I'm sure there's other theaters that do this where you pay at the beginning of the year like 20 bucks for a plastic bucket of popcorn and probably 20 bucks for a plastic cup, but throughout the rest of the year to refill that, it's only about $5. Unfortunately, if you bought one at the beginning of 2020, they are no longer valid. So if you're the type of person that does like to bring those in do not think about doing it because they'll just ask you to leave that in your car or they won't accept it to accommodate for this though they did lower the prices of a large drink and a large popcorn i think it was a dollar less than it usually is so at least they're helping you out there other big thing of notice here and something i didn't even account for if you are planning to go to the movie theaters and you like getting a meal there with your movie 
I would suggest you go to a meal before the movie or plan for one afterwards because a lot of the snacks that they were offering before are no longer there, mainly because it was open access where anyone could touch. I know at my Cinemark they would have kettle corn or cheddar popcorn or nachos on display. There was even this fill yourself rack of candy that was filled with M&M's, Skittles, gummy bears, all sorts of stuff that has been completely emptied, thus limiting your options for possible candies there. But the part that probably broke my fat ass the most is I like having a little pizza with my movie and they didn't have no pizza, man. Look at my face. So disappointed. I even starved myself to prepare for them extra calories. They did have hot dogs though, so I, I, I guess that's an okay thing. And if you are getting anything that requires condiments, like if you like putting popcorn salt on your popcorn, ketchup or mustard on your hot dog, all that stuff you have to ask an employee for. They won't have it laying out for you. I know even in some theaters they have jalapenos out. At least that's the way we do it here in Texas. Ain't no way you're getting a jalapeno now. And I was actually surprised that the butter is still up and running. I would figure that's a machine that requires a lot of people to touch that button, but that was still up and running. And if you're wanting to put the butter in your popcorn, you're in luck. But another thing to look out for here that I'm like, oh my God, I am in the future right now. I was just sitting in my seat and all of a sudden I started to feel really hot and warm. And I started to think to myself, oh my God, am I getting sick? Is their AC not working? And I look down and Cinemark has installed heat warmers into their seats. I repeat, there are now heated seats at movie theaters. <laughs> I never watch a movie at home again. I don't know if this is just limited to Cinemark theaters, who knows, but this is the perfect time when everything was closed down for a lot of theaters to start upgrading their amenities, and this is one I never expected. But that just was my experience going back to the movie theater and everything that was different. It was a lot more than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be basic and simple. If you guys have any questions that maybe I didn't cover in this video, go ahead and comment it down below. I like to frequently reply to people in the comments section, so go ahead and have your voice heard. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you've made it this far. Subscribe to the channel for more movie-related content. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.